In this video I will show you what you will get if you decide to use our PCB which is specially designed for our do-it-yourself FZ project. Go to my website and check the pictures of how it looks when it's assembled and uh, you can actually buy the PCB and some other bits to finish it. Almost forgot to mention, soon I will update all the firmwares. You will be able to use ESP Wi-Fi modules uh, to get the, all the readings on your smartphone also to lock and unlock the charging point and the ESP board firmware will be open source so you can actually modify or use your own program to communicate with FZ there will be a few very simple commands to control and to read the data from from the FZ so keep checking my website and uh, as soon as I will do that I will share it on my website. There is few different firmwares depending which charging point you going to, to build uh, like single phase or free phase, tethered or non-tethered. So I will show you with how exactly each different firmware looks like and how it works. So let's begin with the free phase firmware uh, which works with free current sensors uh, and it is for non tethered charging points so it got proxi proximity pilot detection. All these firmwares uh, looks quite similar so I will show all functions for one firmware so let's begin the first thing when you power it you will see the my website address maximum current set maximum current if you want to change a ma uh, maximum charging current you just press the button and it you can change it from 6 amps to 32 amps. If you need different uh, settings, just send me a message and I will adjust the firmware for you. As you see, let's say 26. So, when you decide what maximum current you want, you can connect your vehicle. Once you connected your vehicle, it starts charging and starts monitoring current on all three phases. Uh, ignore that this ignores such a small current readings because it just uh, it's not connected. The, this prototype is not connected to the vehicle; it's just uh, connected to the dummy. Once once you're charging. You can see the set maximum current. Maximum current the cable is designed for. So uh, it's 20 amp. It, if for some reason there is resistor missing on a proximity pilot contact, or if, if it gets faulty while the charging is happening, it will will change in for into 6 amp and the char maximum charging current will drop to 6 amp. Uh, it shows energy consumed. The energy consumption is not 100% accurate because we have no voltage detection circuit on these boards. They just make them as simple as possible. If vehicle is fully charged, 
to will show the display will change into charged will show the set maximum amps uh, the energy used in the in the time of the charging the active charging it will stay on a display till you disconnect the vehicle as soon as you disconnect the vehicle it goes back into the same home screen to, for type 2 vehicles if you want to stop charging uh, you got two options pulling the cable out of the socket or pressing the button pressing the button is a uh, better option because uh, as soon as you press the button PMW signal stops uh, but the relay stays for another 300 uh, milliseconds activated so the vehicle has enough time to detect that signal stopped so it, it instantly stops pulling the high current and then the relays gets deactivated they has no electric card between the contacts that saves the relays so for the type 1 uh, connector you don't need to press the button because the type 1 uh, vehicles probably will drop the fault code if you do that uh, the type 1 connectors got inbuilt uh, switch uh, so it detects when you try to pull pull the plug out so it, it stops pulling high current and it it is done safely without needing to press a button or do anything else if you want to do a calibration there is another video a, sen a current sensor calibration you, there is another video uh, I it will include the link in the in the description the basically is just pressing that same button for 10 seconds then you stop the charging by pressing a button that's the only way to get into the calibration mode so let's say 10 seconds and it gets into the current sensor calibration mode so again this is the the screen that you will get uh, get and you will use the non tetheret three phase charging point through there now I'll show you what you uh, how all other versions looks like so this is a film there for Tetheret charging point, three phase tetheret charging point, point with uh, current sensors. So, as you see, it looks exactly the same like a previous one, just uh, it's missing the proximity pilot detection function. So, because the Tethera charging points have their own cable and they don't need to detect the cable maximum current because you know what you're using. This is a firmware of a single phase non tethera charging point with current sensors. This time we use the 1602 LCD screen. As you see, it's on the home screen it still got my website address maximum current as you connect your charger to vehicle it gives you just screen is quite small I made a customized symbols to fit all the information you need to see so it's a charging time energy used actual charging current cable rated amps and the set amps so it says set 25 and the cable 20 and it shows the battery 
symbol while charging. So this is a firmware of the single phase tether charging point uh, with the current sensors. So as you see the difference is that it's got no proximity pilot detection. So everything else looks exactly same. Same screen then you stop the charging. So this time we got them there for for non tethered charging point, but this time we don't have a current sensors, so we won't be reading the charging current. So as you see now we only got the charging state on a screen, the actual time set maximum current and the cable cable rated current as soon as you stop it it shows all the same data and the last one this is a tethered charging point firmware as you can see it only shows a maximum set current and charging time that's it